function better in the colder weather. Get nightmares every time I take it. So I don't really like taking NyQuil, but hola amigos and welcome to today's, welcome to, oh you can't even see my face, welcome to today's mukbang. Today I'm home alone and we have teriyaki beef um, chow mein. Yeah, from this brand called Nissen, I think. Yeah. So I have this, I have two packets of these and this is actually like soup based but I don't like soups, so kind of like remove the rest of the soup and then to make it healthier I have some spinach but it's not really healthy because there's thousand islands on top so yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoy today's mukbang and let's eat together. Guys, I am so hungry like I'm shaking and I don't know why I've waited so long to eat but yeah, I'm hungry so I'm excited, okay. Mm. Yum. Fun fact though, it said that there would be a spice pack and then a sauce pack but there's only sauce pack so now i'm kind of like a bit afraid that they forgot to put in the powder um and the spices and stuff because there's no spice pack uh but it was no there was no spice pack in both of them so that might be like i don't know maybe it really doesn't have a spice pack but it said it does. I'm confused. When I was younger, Thousand Islands um, was probably my favorite dressing. I, um, I was obsessed with it. <laughs> and I would like pour it on top of my s salads. But then I became vegan and I stopped eating it and I kind of like hated dressings. But now I'm in love again. <laughs> Mm. I'm so hungry. <clears throat> Look at me, shaking. Mm. Okay, guys. Tell us after they will do. Sket. Sketgi. And he or she says that they are subbed. So thank you for subbing. If you guys want a shout out, tell me down below and I'll give you a shout out. Guys. I'm so happy to be in the States. Like, you have no idea. Like, I have I love the Philippines, guys. I do. But I don't know why I feel, like, so at home when I'm here. And, like, I get so many ideas. And I feel more efficient. And I, I think it could be also because it's colder here. For some reason, I function better in the colder weather. I mean, I'm more used to, <laughs> I'm more used to cold weather, guys, because I did grow up in Sweden and it's always cold in Sweden. So I get used to that and I, feel, I just, I don't know, when I'm sweating so much and when it's so like hot all the time, my brain feels fried and I cannot think, guys, I cannot. Oh my god, it's so yummy. <laughs> yes, I was doing where mama is, she's at the other house. I'm sorry that I'm like, it's like a speedy thing, but I'm just so hungry, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Tell me, tell in what weather do you function the best? Like, is it cold, warm? Oh! I just ate on this side. I'm not used to eating on the left side yet, guys. I got my wisdom tooth removed. And it feels so weird. Like, it's it's still not healed up. It's like 50% closed now. But 
Oh no, can I eat on that side now? It's not painful anymore. But I'm kind of afraid to eat on that side because since there's still like a hole, so I'm like, oh, so I'm like, I don't know if I'm like allowed to eat on that side. But I think I am allowed to eat on it now, but I'm not sure. So I try to avoid it, but I mean, don't you guys think that eating bo on both sides of your mouth, it like food f tastes better rather than you when you just eat on one side? Or is, just, is, is that just me? I don't know. Guys, I feel like I'm in heaven. I have a cough still. And every night, for the past like four nights, I've been taking NyQuil. And NyQuil has... Oh, we buy the cheaper version, so it's not NyQuil, it's called Signature or something. And it has 10% alcohol. But you only drink like 30 ml, like that much. So it's not so much, but... There's still alcohol in it. And my mom, she gets affected by it. Like, she becomes, like, she feels, like, she becomes sleepy. It's like she really, like, drank alcohol. But for me, it's the opposite. I become energetic, guys, when I eat it, I, when I drink it. Um, and the side effect I get is I get nightmares every time I take it. So I, I don't really like taking NyQuil, but it gives me, like, the weirdest nightmares. And... I don't know why and my mom says that she's a lightweight with alcohol but I guess because I, I never drink guys very rarely like sometimes I will sip but I don't like the taste of alcohol and so when I drink NyQuil my mom says that I'm not a lightweight because um, I don't get affected by alcohol and it might be because I'm a bit taller uh, I don't know but like I don't get affected by it uh, which is kind of dangerous because that means I can drink a lot, which is not good, but I also don't drink so it's it's not really a problem If I were to drink like if I were to be like a normal 24 year old and like Go out and party I think I would be able to handle alcohol, which is not good. That's dangerous. <laughs> um, I guess I will be like those kind of people who can drink a lot. Like there's some people who just like drink a few sips of beer and then they pass out. Like they fall asleep. And NyQuil is supposed to make you sleepy and drowsy. For me, it just like it feels really hot, like going down. And then I get nightmares and I feel super like awake. I can't fall asleep. Oh, I painted my nails. <laughs> and uh, I like, I guess going back to the thing I said earlier, I never paint my nails when I'm in the Philippines because it's so hot. Like, I don't know why. When I'm there, everything like feels like, oh my God. When I'm there, I feel like everything feels like so, like every task feels like 10 times harder. My mom is the opposite. She she says that when she's in the Philippines, she's like more productive. I'm the opposite. Like, no. Uh, I can't, I just, I don't know. When I'm there, like doing chores, like doing the laundry, it feels like such a huge task. And when I complete it, it's like I'm the best person on the planet because it takes a lot of effort to do the laundry. <laughs> But here, I can clean the house, I can do homework, edit videos, and clean my room and all of that the same day. And it doesn't like feel like anything. I guess that's why I'm happier here because I'm just so, I'm more me. Because guys, as me, as a person, I'm very productive. I'm always moving. I can't just sit down. Um, my mom likes to tell me that I'm ADHD because I cannot like, I cannot stop moving. 
um, which is why like I can't really recognize myself when I'm in the Philippines because there I, all I want to do is like sleep in the aircon room or you know just lay down because it's so tiring oh guys look at this I have a bonnet necklace on from my mom I really need a mirror when I'm filming videos because a lot of times when I'm filming and when I'm editing I get so annoyed because I didn't even know that throughout the whole video there's been like dirt like food on the side of my mouth and I'm like oh my god oh, I just bit my tongue I mean my lip I find the comments to be so funny whenever I use chopsticks because some of you guys are from Japan and you know and you guys are like professional um, chopstick users and you can, some of you guys are like you're using it wrong you should just be using like a fork and knife instead I think it's so funny like there was one person she's Filipino and she wrote that uh, in Tagalog that I should just be using a fork and knife because it looks way too hard uh, the way I'm using my chopsticks but guys um I don't think it's hard to use I might be using it the wrong way I probably am but the way I'm using it like it's easy for me to eat this way it's not like hard for me or a, ha a hassle I love using chopsticks it makes me like um I like the food more when I use chopsticks for some reason. Uh, so it's not really hard for me, but I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably using it the wrong way, I'm sure. Um, my hair also, by the way, here in the States is way, like, it's made way more tame. Like, it's not, like, pretty right now because I didn't do anything to it. But it's more like tame. Can you see? It's less. There's less frizz. I'm so far away from you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have a dessert, guys. I'm not done eating. I'm just. I just want to show you guys my dessert. It's pure. Wait, what? 100% pure. Oh, it's with 100% pure maple syrup. I thought that was the only ingredient. <laughs> It is a maple um, leaf, maple leaf, and Mama bought this for me, Mama and my kids, when they went to oh Canada. And I'm really excited. Look at this. I don't really like like popsicles or lollipops. I mean, because they are bad for your teeth, but. This one seems like a good one. Oh my god. I feel like I'm making ASMR right now. <laughs> Holy. This is so Canadian candy, guys. Oh my god, I think it's my new favorite. Canadian candy. I could totally live in Toronto because it's like it's a city and, and then it's still like very like uh, I, I've seen videos like youtubers and they live in Toronto and then they the, They just drive a little bit and then they're in the forest and I like that and I love the fact that there's so much like snow activities there and ice and Oh my god, this is so good. Guys, I'm not really into lollipops, uh, but this, it tastes like maple syrup, but like very fresh and like it just came from the tree. I'm going to eat this while I do my homework and I'm going to let my teeth rot. <laughs> it's worth it, it's worth it. It's really yummy. Wow. Let's remove these. It's just like... 
I guess tomorrow. This is how they film. My mom told me I just try filming like this. I just I don't know. Some people look really like more attractive just like this. Um like they look like models like this and then when they show their whole face with their face reveal people are often very shocked and like oh i thought it would be prettier they were, they they always write stuff like that so if i were to like film like this i don't know it would feel weird just because uh, i like expressing myself like with my eyes i always like my eyes are, are always like this you know in my thumbnails they are always like bigger like ah and i don't know why i do that Two packets is too much, I think. <laughs> I'm starting to get full, guys. And the thing with me is that I do not eat more than what I can handle. Like, if I feel full, I don't eat anymore. And that's just something I do not. Because, like, my mom tells me the reason why I've never been overweight is because I stop eating when I'm full. And it's definitely something you should do, the guys. Like, you should not force yourself to eat more than what you can handle. But I don't do it because I want to be thin. Like, the only reason why I stop when I'm full is because I just don't like the feeling of overeating. But sometimes I do overeat because it's like, it's so yummy and I just cannot stop. <laughs> and sometimes I eat too fast so my body can't, like, catch up with me. <laughs> because it can only feel like... The fullness after like 20 minutes. I think that's it. I can't eat anymore. I'm way too full. So, it's so comforting. I just want to like lay down and sleep while <laughs> eating this. <laughs> okay guys. So, please go down below and subscribe to this channel. I will turn on the post notifications so you know when I upload a new video. Tell me your video request and tell me if you want to shout out. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. Gracias por ver. I'll see you tomorrow. Adios amigos. Mwah. Woo.